Hello and welcome to this special edition of Who Wants to Be an RUK Student. We're coming to you today from Harriet Watt University, the Scottish University of the Year. My name is Mike Ross and we're joined by our two contestants today, Connor and Christina. Connor and Christina will be playing for £27,000, the cost of a Harriet Watt University degree. The decision to increase tuition fees in Scotland for RUK students has come off the back of UK coalition policy that looks at charging students in England up to £9,000 per year. Okay, let's play Who Wants to Be an RUK Student. And remember, you've got three lifelines. 50-50, phone a friend, and ask the audience. Let's move on to question number one. Question number one is for £1,000. £1,000. How many of the current Cabinet Office paid fees when they went to university? Is it A, B, 1, C, 4, or D, 8? So, I'm guessing, probably none. I'm, I'm guessing, one. I guess that would be kind of like the irony of it, would be like none of the MPs have paid. So, none, none. none? Yeah. yeah, we'll go with none. A, 0. Is that your final answer? Yes. Okay, let's see if that's correct. Congratulations, you guys. Yes. Yeah, I want to give you that. Though. Aww. Question number two, worth £9,000, a third of the cost of your degree. How much will the average degree cost in Scotland for rest of UK students? Is it A, £20,560? B, £24,021? C, £27,364, or D, £29,104. Must be C or D. I think D is too high. Well, uh, yeah, I think D is a little too high. Like, I don't think it's going to be that high, so we'll say C. C, yeah. C, uh, 27000 C. C, is that your final answer? That's locked in place. We'll find out after the break. <laughs> This dragon does not want to live on handouts. He wants a chance to get a degree. £27,000 will help to send this dragon to Harry Watt University. Please give generously. Before the break, we asked you how much will the average degree cost in Scotland for our UK students? You answered C. That's correct. Yes. Congratulations. You've uh, just got £9,000. Good job. Okay, this is where it gets serious. On to the next question. Now on to question three for £18,000 two-thirds of the cost of your degree. Harriet Watt University could provide accommodation grants or fee waivers and a £1,000 bursary per year. But what will the average debt be for an RUK student after they have studied for their degree in Scotland? Is it A, £18,450? B, £27,986? C, £41,351? Or D, £59,100? Well, if a degree is going to cost like twenty-seven thousand plus, and including like living fees and stuff, like it's going to be well over that. So like A and B can't even be an answer. Yeah, but D is still extremely high. Yeah, but it, I mean I wouldn't be surprised because it's expensive to be a student. So I, I don't know. We got three lifelines. Three phone a friend. Phone a friend. Yeah. Okay, we'll phone a friend. So you've decided to phone a friend. Your, your choices are Steve Chapman, uh, Mike Russell, or Gail Edwards. Who, who would you like to phone? Well, Gail's the CEO of the union, so she should know this. I bet anyone's going to know it. Okay, we'll phone Gail. Hello. Hi, Gail. It's uh, Mike here from Who Wants to Be an RUK Student. We've oh, got hi. Um, hi. Uh, we've got um, Christina and Connor here who've run into a bit of difficulty on one of their questions, and they think you can help out. Um, I'm just going to hand over to them to um, ask you the question. Okay. 
Hi Gail. Right, okay, so this is for £18,000 worth of our fees. Uh, what will the average debt for an RUK student after they have studied for their degree in Scotland be? Uh, we've narrowed down to two answers. Um, uh, C, £41,351 or D, £59,100. Oh, I remember this from paper I was reading. I remember it being really high, but I can't quite remember which one. Um, uh, I'm just really looking at this and having okay, so much kind of important, Gail. Kind of important. It must be 59. Well, thank you, Gail. Bye. Well, if anyone's going to know, like, yeah, yeah and we kind of thought it was going to be one of those two anyway, so, yeah, we'll go with that one. D. So, so D, is that your D. final answer? Yes. Okay, let's see if that's correct. D, that is the correct yes. answer. Congratulations, you've won £18,000. Okay, let's play on. Final question now for £27,000, the cost of your degree at Harriet Watt University. A corporate lawyer will earn a lot more over their lifetime than a civil servant. On average, how much longer will it take the civil servant to pay back an average student debt of £40,000 and how much extra will they pay back? Is it A, two years with £3,000 more debt? B, four years with £7,000 more debt? C, eight years with £15,000 more debt, or D, 12 years with £30,000 more debt. Well, I know there's like a big jump between like a lawyer and like a, like a civil servant, but like, I don't know, it's, it's going to take a long time to pay back your debt if you're a civil servant, so... That's interesting. Yeah, it must be one of the higher answers, but I'm, I'm, I'm not, not sure. sure. I'm really not sure. Do you, have you still got two lifelines left? Ask the audience. Ask the audience? Yeah. Really like a good bunch. Yeah. Yeah, let's go for it. <laughs> okay, audience, fingers on your keypads. A, B, C, or D. All vote now. Okay, um, A is 4%, B is 3%, C is 12%, and D is 81%. <sighs> yeah, what, what do you think? I mean, that's kind of decisive. Yeah, uh, I mean, uh, do you want to go for it? I mean, we can walk away now, but I'm skint. I was so close. Yeah, so. yeah, you want to go for it? Yeah. Alright, okay. Go We're going to go for it. We'll go with D. We'll trust the audience. Okay, final answer yeah. of D for £27,000. Yes. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah as sure as where we're going to be. Best luck, it's been, it's been fun.